You know what? When I was in sixth grade, the biggest bully in my school was named Ernie. Ernie. Do we even name kids Ernie anymore? <laughs> and Ernie was kind of scary. It was weird kind of bullying. It wasn't like you'd think where he'd call people names. He was mean to you. He would just, he was big and he would just sneak up when you were alone and he would get behind you and he would like bark. Like he'd get an inch from your feet and go, <laughs> and you would be scared. You wouldn't know what to do. One time I was coming out of the bathroom and he jumped in right at the door and he went, I had to go again. <laughs> so I wrote a song about Ernie. Ernie, he was so big and mean. If he ever got a hold of you, he'd pick your bones clean. Ernie, we would run in fear. If ever there was a bully man, Ernie was one, it's clear. Now Ernie was really big. Almost eight feet tall. He weighed about a thousand pounds, made the principal look small. If Ernie ever got you alone, he might just knock you down. Look at Ernie the wrong way. He chased you all over the playground. Ernie, he was so big and mean. If he ever got a hold of you, he'd pick your bones clean. in fear. If ever there was a bully man, Ernie was one minute's clear. Now we all thought Ernie was bad, so we'd get together calling names. Ernie'd bark at us like a big old dog. We'd never let him in our games. Whenever he would come around, we'd yell, Ernie is stupid and fat. All the kids were so scared, we didn't see what's wrong with that. Why were we so mean? Whenever we got together, man, we'd pick his bones clean. Ernie, you would run in fear. You bullied us, we bullied you. Now it's all so clear. I think back, I still feel bad. Revenge is never right. You don't have to like everyone. It doesn't have to be a fight. Treat everyone with respect and hold your head up high. Now have a sense of humor about yourself. You live a happy life. Ernie was so big and mean. So who's the big bully in that song? Ernie. Ernie. Ernie, really? Is that what you got out of it? Why don't you tell me? Who's really the big bully in that song? You. You? You? Not only me, but me and all my friends. Yeah. Now, Ernie was a little scary. Every once in a while, he would come up and bark, or he would do something that if you were alone, and it scared you a little bit, but we destroyed Ernie's life every day. We made Ernie, because he was different, and for some reason, some of us don't like different. And he had a hard home life. His parents didn't treat him very well, and he didn't know how to be friends with us, and we gave him no chance whatsoever. And then we decided, because Ernie was different and he didn't act right, that we could be mean to him every day because he was the bully. We decided he was bad and he was wrong. Who was really wrong? You and your friends. Me and my friends. We treated Ernie bad. We called him stuff. We hit him. We treated him <laughs> terribly. Now, you have to remember that just because somebody is different, that doesn't make them wrong or make anything about them, but somebody you want to be great friends with or somebody you want to treat with respect. It hurt me for a long time growing up what I did to Ernie. I had to go to Ernie and please ask him to be friends with me later. But remember, just because you think you're right doesn't mean you ever get to hurt anybody. Okay? Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. That's right. Thank you very much. <laughs> I like the thumbs up. That's really nice. <laughs>